Welcome everyone. Uh, today we delve into the moonlit streets of a timeless world where walls rise as high as youthful hopes and hearts soar with the melody of forbidden love. Get ready to be swept away by The Fantastics, a musical that celebrates the bittersweet beauty of adolescence, the absurdity of first love, and the unexpected twists that turn dreams into reality. The Fantastics is a 1960 musical with music by Harvey Schmidt and a book and lyrics by Tom Jones. Uh, it tells an allegorical story loosely based on the 1894 play The Romancers by Edmund Rostand concerning two neighboring fathers who trick their children, Louisa and Matt, into falling in love with pre by pretending to feud. Now, The Fantastics premiered at the Solomon Street Playhouse, a small off-Broadway theater in New York City's Greenwich Village in May of 1960. Starring uh, Jerry Orbach, Rita Gardner, Kenneth Nelson, and librettist Tom Jones. The sparse set and semicircular stage created an intimate and immediate effect. Uh, the play is highly stylized and combines old fashioned showmanship as well as classic musical theater. Now, fun facts uh, the producer actually spent $900 on the set and about $541 on costumes. Uh, Ed Whitstein, became uh, the original set designer, costumer, prop master, and lighting designer, performing all four jobs for a whopping total of, drum roll please, $480 plus $24.48 a week. Now the set itself basically is a raised stationary platform anchored by six poles, uh, resembling sort of like a traveling pageant wagon. Uh, for a curtain, he hung various small false curtains across the platform at various times during the play. Um, he also made a sun and moon out of cardboard. Basically, one side was painted bright yellow for the sun, and the other was black with a crescent of white for the moon. And the orchestra consisted of a piano and sometimes also a harp, with the harpist also at times playing some percussion. Now, the production would run for 17,162 performances, uh, making it not only the world's longest-running musical, but the longest-running uninterrupted show of any kind in the United States. In September of 1961, the show would open at London's Apollo Theater for 44 performances. And on August 23, 2006, a revival of The Fantastics opened at the Theater Center off-Broadway, with a total run of 4,390 performances, uh, starring Burke Moses, Leo Burmester, and Tootsie's leading man, Santino Fontana. After the musical celebrated its 50th anniversary in 2010, the late pop star Aaron Carter stepped into the role of Matt in 2011, and the theater was later renamed the Jerry Orbach Theater in memory of the original El Gallo. Now, in June of 2010, the Fantastics would play briefly at the Duchess Theatre in London's West End, starring the Pirate Queen's Hadley Frazier, Lorna Want, Olivier Award winner Clive Rowe, and David Burt. The Fantastics has become one of the most widely produced musicals in the world, with more than 11,000 productions in more than 3,000 cities and towns across all 50 states, as well as playing in over 67 countries. The musical has performed at the White House, Yellowstone National Park, the White Sands Missile Range, as well as for the Peace Corps in Africa, and at the Shawnee Methodist Mission in Kansas. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed this, please comment on what you liked or disliked. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to see other videos like this, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, that's a wrap.